this is Linda Irwin. I'm the owner of this channel, also a producer of Awesome Insanity Surfers, which I've been doing solo for about two and a half years now. I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of state of the channel update. Okay, you may have noticed I was gone for a while. If you tried to see my channel, it said this channel does not exist on YouTube. Well, let me give you the history behind all of that. November 2019, we got the notice that we had to, because of FTC and COPPA, mark our channels or our videos either as made for kids or not. Well, the day I got that notice, I just simply marked my channel not for kids because I'm not one that ever makes videos targeted to children. But then things came up. People were wondering, well, how do you know if your videos are targeted for kids or not? Just because you didn't intend them that way, just because, like me, you wanted to have general audience where anyone could watch it of any age and that it was safe for kids, how do you know what to mark your channel or videos? Well, more guidelines came out as time went on, and they included things like animation, uh-oh, stories, uh-oh, character voices, hmm, music, weigh the factors. I don't do gaming and I don't do crafting or anything like that, but I really felt for the people that were involved in that and art channels too, because a lot of them were worried about are they made for kids, even though that was not their intended audience. So I started looking through all of my videos and quite a few of them had animation and I do character voices, not just text-to-speech, but my own voices that I change to represent different characters on my podcast on Spreaker and other places. So little by little, I started taking them down. Every time they would identify new factors, well, this could be weighed pretty heavily on the side of child-directed, so uh, down those go animation, music, whether it was my original music or something cute that was free for commercial use, it had to go. I went through and also removed some of the things that were no longer timely or, or relevant. I had done some videos for people that were promotional, but they're no longer at those sites or they're no longer doing what they're doing. So those are deleted and gone. So that was it. Little by little, I had nothing left that I felt could be safe. Now, I'm not monetized, so you're probably wondering, what's the big deal if it got marked for kids? Well, it is a big deal to me. While I'm not monetized, and I'm fine with taking comments, mini player, and all that off my videos, I have to say that not being able to share them or having them viewable to my subscribers, that's a, that's a bad thing for me. I don't have very many subscribers. Of all the small channels on YouTube, I am one of the smallest there is. I average between 29 and 34 subscribers. Whoa, yeah. So I guess it's a good thing I'm not monetized because I certainly wouldn't be making any money. But anyway, I decided after looking over all the videos I had left and I was taking them off a few at a time that, well, it was just time to shut everything down. So, I did the hide my channel feature. I simply went in and hid my channel so that if you went there, it said this channel does not exist. In the meantime, I was busy trying to find other places to put my videos and I found one called Kuklu that looked good and that lasted for a little less than a week. They decided that my, I think it was my Leebots animation 10 video series was unsafe. They never did tell me exactly why they thought it was unsafe, but maybe the subject was ViewBots. I have a video, in fact the first one I put up when I returned was about the Kuklu situation. You can go check that out on my channel. And then the three that came after that were ones that I made specifically for Twitter during my shutdown period. So you might enjoy those as well. They're comedic, they're fun. They're kind of spoofing this whole FTC situation and COPPA and, and YouTube. So go check those out and I hope you enjoy them. Anyway, having combed through everything that's left, I have seven of my older videos, which I am still concerned about getting marked as made for kids when they're not. And they have 
character voices again and they have story and they have music and they have animation not necessarily my animation but some of it is and some of it is free for commercial use so I will just have to put them up here and there one at a time just to see what's going to happen now if they do mark them for kids you're not going to be able to see them if you're subscribed to me well you'll be able to see them you just won't know they're there so I guess the only way you're going to be able to know is if we're connected on discord or you're following me on Twitter and then you can find out that I have a new video you can watch hopefully I can copy and paste the links to Twitter so far on the not made for kids you can do that I don't know if they change it to for kids if I can do that because I heard that they were not shareable I don't know how true that is anyway I'll find that out too if it happens hopefully it doesn't but the thing that's really got me concerned right now is this push to make the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, excuse me, not only extend to 15 and under, but to 17 and under. I know it's also affecting people that make apps directed at kids. Well, do you really consider 17-year-olds kids? I don't, personally. I think they're young adults, but what can you do about it? I don't make apps, and my websites that I have are not child-directed. My websites are not monetized either, nor do they collect analytics. So if you visit my websites, the only thing that's going to be collected on you is if you safety, security, there's no malware that you're doing. I don't even allow you to upload anything or you know, comment on any, on any blogs or forums or anything like that. You can email me, but I've stated quite clearly that if you choose to make the first step to email me through my contact form, then you are doing that, and it's not something I'm collecting on you. Also, Wix site, which I use, is collects data just for browsing experience. What mo Are you on mobile? Are you on a PC? What are you using so that it can display things to you t to match your device? Well, anyway, that's just about all I had to say. I'm just going to see what's going to happen with what I'm uploading. I'll be sprinkling them here and there throughout. So hopefully they don't get too crazy with this extension. And what is that going to mean? I don't know. Anyway, stay tuned. Watch for the classic videos, the ones that stand the test of time and their relevance. And take care, and I hope you keep visiting. Goodbye.